Hi everybody, this is Rarotonga Miti Evangelist. How's everyone doing? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching, wherever you are watching, from all over the cloud. God bless you all for watching. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God. Our message for today, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Raise the Lord. What did Jesus mean when he said, No man who puts his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God? This answer to the request of the man in Luke 9 verse 61 seems harsh, but it was not for Jesus knew that if he returned home, he would likely submit to the unbelieving relatives who would weep, reproach, ridicule and tempt him to give up such an idea. Amen. Jesus spoke the word cited in the question as part of a series of responses in Luke 9 verse 57 to 62 that he gave to people who told him that they wanted to follow him but who were either possibly or apparently not fully aware of the sacrifices that discipleship required or else who indicated by their words that they were other things on which they placed a higher immediate priority than discipleship. Praise the Lord. Amen. One man told Jesus that he would follow him wherever he went, but Jesus responded by saying, that unlike even animals such as birds and foxes which had nests of tents to live in following him which means living and um, intenerent, intenerent existence as he did that would require giving up the comforts of home Jesus told another man to follow him but the man wanted to wait until his father had died before he did so. Jesus told him that such excuses were valid only for those who were spiritually dead and not for those who wanted to receive the spiritual abundant eternal life that following Jesus and his teachings would impart which had a higher importance and priority than any earthly concerns. A third man, the one referred in the question, wanted to say goodbye to those at home before he started following Jesus. Jesus used a figure of speech borrowed from agriculture in response. A person plowing a field with a horse or mule in Jesus' day had to keep his entire attention focused towards in order to assure that the animal that was pulling the plow was plowing in a straight line. If the plowman let this um, attention be distracted by turning around and looking backward, the animal would go off course and furrow that it was plowing would be crooked. Jesus was saying that a person who was worthy to be his disciple had to place the same priority on the forward-going spiritual mission that Jesus called him to perform and could not let himself be distracted or diverted by thoughts of what um, he was leaving behind or had left behind in his formed life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say yes to Jesus today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow may never come. To be his follower, he asked for 100% complete dedication and no turning back. God bless.